If you have a quadratic equation that is in the form x squared equals a number. To solve it, you simply just take the square root of both sides. So you take the square root of the left side and the square root of the right side. However, if you take the square root of a constant that is involved in an equation, you must include a plus or minus. So that means that x would equal plus or minus the square root of that number. The reason you would need plus or minus on the number is because negative square root of a squared is, would be x and positive square root of a squared would be an x. So let's take a look here. If I have x squared equals 16, and I want to solve here, notice there are no other x's in the problem and I just have the x squared on the left side and whatever x equals to on the right side. I can solve this by taking the square root of both sides. So that means that x is equal to plus or minus the square root of 16. Well, the square root of 16 is 4, so that means that x is equal to plus or minus 4. All right, let's go ahead and try to solve this next equation. 10x squared equals 40. So what you would first want to do is isolate your variable. So I'm going to go and divide both sides by 10. And what we end up having is x squared equals 4. Okay, you may be able to think of the answer from here. What number squared is 4? It would be 2 and negative 2. So let's check and make sure that's how the answers we get when we solve the equation. We square root both sides to undo this squared, so those cancel. And we would end up with x equals plus or minus the square root of 4. Well, the square root of 4 is 2, so we've got x equals plus or minus 2. And that would be our final answer. All right, let's solve this next one. I have the in parentheses x minus 1 squared equals 25. So let's take the square root of both sides and we end up with x minus 1 equals plus or minus the square root of 25, which is plus or minus 5. Then I need to finish solving for x and it's being subtracted by 1, so I'm going to add 1 to both sides. So what we end up with is x is equal to 1, positive 1 plus or minus 5. So 1 plus 5 is 6, 1 minus 5 is negative 4. And there we go, that is our, those are our solutions. Another reason the plus or minus is so important is because when you have a quadratic equation, it's a squared equation, and that tells us we should have two solutions. And we get the two solutions from the plus or minus when we do the square root. Let's take a look at one last problem. This last problem is going to involve the negative square root, which is good to see. So we've got here 2x minus 3 squared equals negative 4. So here I'm going to take the square root of both sides. That means I have 2x minus 3 equals plus or minus the square root of negative 4. Well, the square root of negative 4 is two plus or minus 2i. All right, so then we will add 3 to both sides. I like to write the constant in front of the plus or minus, so it would be 3 plus or minus 2i. And then go through and make sure you divide every part of the equation then by 2. So we end up with x equals 3 halves plus or minus 2i over 2 is just i. And that would be our final answer. So you can use the square root property as long as there's no middle term, meaning you have an x squared and a constant. And then you can also use the square root property with real numbers or um, imaginary numbers.